Hello, Hello everyone, and welcome Bring back to game. Crash Bandicoot 3. Hope you're doing well out there. Once again, we're joined by Wolf of Ricana, who is trying to say something in the background. Nah, I wouldn't do it. It wasn't all that important. But yo-ha. As we continue on into this one, we will complete this, and we will move on. Hopefully <laughs> before the five-minute mark. Who knows, maybe even then I'll edit it down, so we'll see. <laughs> Now you said you were throwing shade? <laughs> Why? <laughs> now let's just say there's a certain there's a certain viewer of ours. Who apparently I get on his nerves talking about so uh, talking about Sonic. I don't think you get on his nerves, I just think he's playing with you. It might be. Although you do mention Sonic a lot. I can't help it. I grew up the series, god dang it. I grew up with Final Fantasy, Legend of Zelda. I grew up with Brigadine, I only mentioned it like every one in five episodes. Mm hmm I grew up with Metroid. Okay. Specifically, Super Metroid. Mention it because I like it. Okay. Most of the stuff I didn't think of until after we already finished the Sonic games, so... Okay. Which, uh, speaking of that, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Or as I love to call it, Colorless. Because the new Hedgehog engine does not look promising. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I kinda, I do kinda agree with that. It's only Dang the two minute mark! I said five. But yeah, mostly I'm peeved about that because up until its announcement, it was saying on the website that you could pre-order it on Steam. Now anyone who's heard my rant about Epic Game Store knows that I absolutely deplore it. And this is just one of those lovely examples. Because at the last minute, they were bribed to make it Epic Game Store exclusive for a year. And they took it. And this is why I blacklist every game that does that. Now, as expected, I know Rakan is probably going to grab it because she loves Sonic, but I'm just saying my stance on it. It is beyond... It's disgusting. It is truly disgusting. There we go. Aren't you guys proud of me? I did it before the five minute mark. In fact, I'm leaving at 323. Aha! Floating platforms? Monkeys and pots! Monkeys and pots! Before the monkeys were trying to put me in the pot. <laughs> Man, thank goodness I had that Aku Aku mask. Well... Okay, back again. Proud that you got past that, by the way. Thank you. I'm proud, too. Uh, also, with those monkeys in the pots. Remember if it, I don't know, I don't remember if it's in this one, but in the original, you can jump on them and get things. Specifically Whopper Fruit, I think. Ah. There's also a death animation with those bit of, with that bit of light. That requires a purple. Yes, it does. 
I'm taking that. Hide boxes for me like that? You know, game, I was just praising you for allowing me to beat it. Hi, Cubie. Whenever I can. Now you're denying me that? Go, Tube. You can do it. And you know what I just realized? That there was a ray of light there. Yeah. So that's very much Indiana Jones-like. Yep. But yeah, I was just going over the lovely situation that Sonic Colors found itself in with the other game store. Yeah, I... I know. <laughs> Which, he is correct, I do intend to get the Switch version of the game. Because I own I owned the original on the Nintendo Wii. I want to see what this one does different. Which, yes, if I'm only going for that, people are probably wondering, well, if you're... Because I'll admit, I agree with Eternal. I'm not very... I'm not very pleased about the new engine either. Way the, too dark for some reason. Or the shadiness done with Epic Games. Oh, and... Thanks, uh. The other problem I kind of have with it, and this is kind of one I have with the original. The god dang reflection on his eyeballs. I'm sorry, that annoys me so much. Also, you can spin that and make more things fall. Oh. That, that lever? Yeah. It doesn't do anything, but you can spin into them, you can spin into it, and more of them will fall. Hmm. Oh, what do you know? You can't actually complete it without the purple gem. Yeah. Well, this game just got demoted. Let's see, that was tomb time, which means now we can move to Midnight Run. Aha! The track is back! Oh, no. You be nice to Pura. Holding run lets Pura smash through certain hazards. Don't tease me, game. I tried that with the barrels in the last one, it didn't work. I could be wrong though. Now it does let you it does let you run through certain hazards, and they are referencing the barrels. So I don't know if that's the case or not, but I know every time I've tried it. I ended up taking damage from the drill. That first box is going to be the death of me. You'll get it. I got it, only just miss a row later. Are you serious? There we go. Also a little uh a little side note about the about uh, about her herself. In the original, there in the original there was uh, I think they kind of short kind of cut that bit of a uh, bit of area out. But in the original in the original levels, uh, you could like walk just a little bit forward, and Pura's reactions would change. She start by not really noticing you and cleaning her paw like she does when you leave her. And then when you get close, she she do the jumping and everything. And then once you got close enough to ride, that's when she would turn and Coco would jump off. And she used to be very, 
very impatient about that. Where it'll be times where her is still in the middle of the jumping animation. She walks up and actually stands there almost like she's standing with her hand on her hip. Like, are you done? So we can go through this now? Mm. But of course, since she's holding the computer, it doesn't really show that. Okay. And I'm gonna guess that it's being very finicky about that, uh... About letting you break through that barrel. If you're wondering why I kept dying so much, no, because... The camera would jerk me away at that angle, and it would completely throw off my jump. That's why I kept having to repeat that one area. Oh no, that that wasn't it. I was just wondering if... Because I noticed a few times when you tried to go through that box, I mean, go through the barrel, it would... It would break, but you would take damage. Yeah, because I was trying to die. Take it upwards this time? Yep. Oh, this one does slits. Ah, kill me. Right? That one was also- that, uh, death animation is also different. In the original, that would- that, uh, in the original, Coco would be there dazed, like you saw. But instead of her falling into her lap, her would actually walk up to her, nuzzle- nuzzle her a little bit, and she'd just fall back. Though, if it makes you feel any better, this is the last of those stages. Kind of? Yeah, these two are the only ones that involve you running along the Great Wall of China. That's, um, very vague, though. It sounds like there are other running stages. No, no, this is the last one, I assure you. Chat, should I believe her? So I leave my fate down in your me, hands. You're the one that called me the expert. But so. well, then again, this is all pre-recorded, so even if you tell me, I already It'll know. Be too late. <laughs> Get me out of this hell hell. I'll admit though, I will admit that the the, these stages did take a bit of a downgrade between the PS1 and this trilogy. So, I will give you that about getting out of the hell. I will give you that. And As a matter of fact, her. at one point, I have to find a way to get my PS1 emulator working and get you playing... and get you playing, uh... playing these stages on the PS1 version of it. It's so much better. Well, now it's time for Dingo Dial. Yep. My favorite of the bosses, actually. Right. Now you've gone and done it. Them crystals are mine. I don't see your name on it. <laughs> Break out the butter. I'm gonna make toast. Wrong, little penguin. Okay, so. No, no, you can't get in there yet. You cannot get in there yet. Okay. Yep, that's how you beat him. Do you see why I said he's the easiest one? Now, you cannot get past those. It's mostly just tricking the fireball AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah like, boy. Come on, blast a couple more. Be careful about. Be careful about this one sometimes. And the only reason I'm saying that is sometimes his AI snaps to where you are. No worries. Oh, please tell me this. Yes. Ah. Revenge. I love, I love that. This penguin does that in the original as well. He will come in and just jump on and just jump on Dingo Dial for no reason. But he's cold. All right, and away we go. We now have our second ability ability of this game. Yep, the double jump, which uh -huh. should have been in the second one. I will agree to that. It should have been in the second one. All right. So now that we have dealt with, uh, excuse me, dealt with um, dealt with Dingo Dial, we now have the next one. Chinatown. Dynamite. So, Deep does that, uh, that person up there look familiar? Yep. Hi, time. Road crash. And double header. Now, just like before, we can actually yep. do any of them in okay. any order. So, I'm going to do double header first. Yes. So, uh, for those of you who were paying attention in the original cutscene, this is the help that Uka Uka asked, uh, it's basically called in. We won't be going to Crash 4, but this guy is, uh, well, let's just say he kind of loves himself a little too much. Now, how do you know we're not going to Crash 4? I'm pretty sure we're probably going to Crash 4. He's not anytime soon. Family of Brothers Run doesn't cause lives, so try it. Yes, we know. You've told us, you've told us this several times, uh, Uka Uka. So this is the third time they used this motif. Yes. This is the last time. Also, uh, death animation for that one. Uh, do you know how, you know how some people get... Yeah. How some people get thrown against the screen and smash. Yeah. That's what happens with this one. Kind of a lame enemy, not gonna lie. Oh, also there was there was a unique death animation for the people with the swords. Uh they will they will slap. They will slap you. I think you can knock them over. Um. You can't. Uh, but with the people with the swords, here's uh, here's basically what happens. They will slice crash, and you will think, okay, nothing really happened. Weird. You should you should be able to knock those over, knock those guys over. But uh, to basically give an example with that one, that will happen, and Crash will just kind of cross his arms and kind of look, kind of look annoyed, but his bottom half will just start walking away. <laughs> those poor Wampa fruit. Eh, there's more of them. Which, by the way, I have fi I have I found something out about them by watching one of the idle animations in the time coaster. Yeah. The insides of them are apparently purple. 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 Purple inner fruits. Yes. I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah, uh, he goes to throw one up and throw one up in the air, and then he does, but it kind of goes up too high for some reason because he, you know, he threw it too high. Hmm. And then it comes back down and. Well, 
Yeah, it smashes on his head. And the juice that comes down is purple. That's strange. Given the color of the flesh and everything, it shouldn't be purple. Hey, Farb's back. Yes, they are. As are the wizards. Yes. And they're gone again. Alright, where does this one take us? Yeah, the themes stay the same, but... Uh, stay the same if the levels are repeated. In any particular way. Help. Help. I'm having flashbacks to uh, Slippery Slope. You're fine. It's okay. It's not fine. It's okay. I'd have a bad feeling about that. So somehow I've got to jump over all the boxes there. Yep. Mm. Okay. But yeah, when we get to the lasers. Yeah. Uh, Crash has this death animation where he basically gets disintegrated. Also, what force is allowing this wooden platform to float? I don't know. There's also uh, other creatures that are kind of like the turtles, but they're not. They're also in there, and they essentially pop crash like a balloon. Okay, what's the point of these blocks? Oh, I hope those weren't what I think they were. No, they were already steel before I even saw them. Are you sure? Yes. Because I know there is a set that uh, that kind of end up doing that crap too. They, that's another thing that actually increases the timer. If you go to the bonus area, they for some odd reason automatically turn to stone. I don't I turn to steel. I don't know why. So I don't know if that was the case or not. Nope, that wasn't the case. Alright, and that was the quote-unquote first area of the third area. We're pretty much 50% done, if I had to guess. Roughly. Uh, also, um, I'm gonna actually spoil the name of this guy. What do you think the N is? For Trophy's name. Nitro? No, actually, this one breaks the mold. It still starts with an N. Instead of Nitro, it's Nefarious. Huh. Yeah. However, on that note, we are going to wrap up the episode here. So far, it hasn't been as bad as Crash 2. I haven't been uh, as salty, so that's a good sign. Wow, they are filled with purple. Told ya! <laughs> Alright. I didn't even know the animation went. I just heard the sound. I'll catch everyone in the next one. Have a good one. See you later.